What's going on guys? Jordan here coming back at you again with another episode of Beer Reviews. If you guys noticed, there was a little bit of a clip that started the video. That is our new baby corn snake. We named her Soleil because obviously she has the colors of a sunset and Soleil means sun in Spanish. So kind of just wanted to show her off a little bit. Really fascinating creature. We had one in the past, but it got stolen by uh, my psycho uncle. Yeah, that's a long story. But we're going to get into this video now. Samuel Adams Cold Snap. This beer is coming in at 5.3% ABV and has 10 IBUs. And this is a 12 fluid ounce bottle. These were $9.48 for the six pack at Walmart. And that is here in Missouri. So if you live somewhere like California or something, I'm sure it's more expensive there and it varies from state to state. But that's what it cost here. Uh, I first heard about this beer several years ago watching Cutlery Lover's channel. If you guys don't know who he is, his real name is Jeff, and he does a lot of knife reviews and product reviews, survival kits, stuff like that. But he also, for a pretty good period of time, did a lot of beer reviews and, you know, cigar reviews and stuff. And he was talking about Cold Snap. He, you know, had met up with a friend at a bar, and they were drinking Cold Snap. And I was looking on the Walmart app today, you know, I was kind of just browsing through and seeing, you know, what they had in stock, what new beers they had. And this isn't a, a new beer, but I had never actually seen it in Walmart before. I don't know if they just got it or, you know, what, but I saw it on there. It showed that they had it in stock, so I had to grab it, so... That's what we're reviewing tonight. I don't remember if these are twist off. I don't believe so. These are gonna be pop tops. So let me get my bottle opener here. I have this one, but it doesn't open beers, right? It, it opens them this way instead of this way. And I've been called out a few times in uh, comments, but it this one just doesn't work like that. It was actually my Panama City Beach one, but that's kind of rubbing off. It's more of a souvenir than an actual bottle opener. This one was my girlfriend's that she gave me. It's got like survival knives and stuff in it. So, let's get this open. I guess it's just the plain old Sam Adams bottle top or bottle cap. Yep, same thing. We'll put that over there. And we will get this into a glass and see what we got. Ooh. It smells a little, it smells really sweet coming out of the bottle. Unfiltered and lively, this crisp white ale gets a kick from a bright blend of smooth spring spices. Yeah, I could, you can smell that. It almost smells like a wheat beer. Now this is, this will be my first white ale, so I'm not too knowledgeable on exactly what a white ale really is. I'm no beer expert, I'm a beer reviewer. I taste beer and tell you if it tastes good or not. So working with about mm, mm. two and a quarter finger head. Oh, a lot more aroma coming out of the out of the glass. Hazy appearance. It smells like a beer that I've had before. There's almost like a I'm almost getting like a vanilla note. Like, does this have nutmeg in it or something? I know it said spices. I'm kind of getting some type of like, like a nutmeg or something. Uh, ale brewed with clementine infused orange peel and spices added. Okay. There's an orange peel. So is this, is this? It'd be kind of like a a blue moon almost. 
If anybody knows that, leave it in the comment section below. It smells pretty good. I'm gonna dive in. Cheers, guys. Mm. You can taste that orange peel. You can taste the spices. Um, I don't know if this has nutmeg in it, but it seems like it. it I mean, it seems like it does in a way. I don't. I. I, I don't know. It's it's some type of spice. It might be the clementine. I'm, tasting, but you do get the orange peel. You get a, like a mild sweetness on it as well. It's really smooth. Carbonation's not too much either. Kind of feels medium bodied. Really easy to drink. I like that uh, the addition of that orange peel. I like Blue Moon, but in the Blue Moon, it's almost too much. Like there's almost too much going on for me. Oh yeah, that stirred up those aromas a lot. Yeah, you smell the orange peel, the spices. Mm. Well, it's definitely a pretty tasty beer for sure. I like that. Um, let's see if there's anything else on here. Okay, it does say seasonal. And I thought I thought it might be. Yeah, so that might be why I haven't seen it, you know, recently. I don't know how long they've had it up there at Walmart, but this is the first time I've seen it. So that explains that part as to why I haven't seen it before. But back to the beer. Let's get another sip and uh, give this thing a grade. And yeah, got a little bit of lacing on the glass as well. tasty um very good uh would i buy it again if i was in the mood for a white ale this type of style sure absolutely i would buy this over blue moon for sure um i'll give it an eight point It's not quite into the nines for me because this is not something that I would drink all the time. Uh, be a good night starter, especially like in the winter months. It's definitely, I'm getting that winter type beer vibe from this. I'll give it an 8.7. So take that for what it is. Uh, higher rating than Beer Advocate gave it. I believe they gave it, it was like in the 70s. 7.8 or something like that that they gave it. They just said it was okay, which I disagree with. I'm giving it an 8.7. I think it's that good. Um, it's just really not something that I would constantly be picking up. Uh, especially like in the wintertime, a, a lot of times I like to drink like stouts and stuff like that. But this this, this would be a good substitute. Um, maybe if you just wasn't feeling a stout or maybe you're not into stouts this would probably be a good winter beer for you but i think it's a pretty good beer 8.7 from me here at beer views if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to hit me with a thumbs up if you guys have any suggestions on anything you would like me to try in the future leave it in the comment section below and i'll do my best to try to find it and give it a review as always until next time cheers thanks for watching